This class is a section of the seminar for freshmen called The Natural History of Dogs. And thank you all for coming out today. And we so the point of the class is to frame dogs as a species. Not only discuss their interactions with the humans, but also their natural history, their ecology, where they actually fit into the world. And dogs evolved from wolves. I was looking at all the catalogs and I eventually found a history of dogs and I was like, that's, I don't know anything about dogs. I have a dog at home and we rescued him from a shelter and when we adopted him he kind of had weird behavior. I saw this course, it said the entire history of dogs. I was thinking maybe I can learn a little bit more about my dog and about where these strange behaviors came from. I'm pretty sure this is the first time, memorable time I've seen a wolf, but it was really amazing to see them. Also, that narrow chest is going to make running much more efficient as opposed to compared to a Rottweiler or Massachusetts. I'm at Wolf Hollow in Ipswich, Massachusetts, and we learned so much about wolves today. We learned all about their behaviors, how many wolves are in a pack, how long they live, their size. Not only do humans have an impact on the environment, we actually have a major impact on a number of species. And to really see that the wolf was transformed into something like a pug is really <laughs> formative. I think what surprised me the most was that unlike dogs, wolves don't necessarily just attack or bite. One of the trainers said they can give, I think, 12 signals before they will attack somebody. Wolves play a larger role on the environment than what I previously thought before taking this course and before coming to the sanctuary. I really feel like humans are doing a lot of negative impact on these wolves and we learned a lot about that today. I'm an ecologist by training and that's always been my goal to show people, yes, we're going to have an impact regardless, but we as humans can actually make the conscious decision of how great of an impact is that and is it going to be positive or negative for the other species that are around us. I'd like to make some type of difference in the world, even if it's small. The wolf sanctuary made me think differently on how we treat the wolves. Certain states are allowing people to kill wolves without regard to the environment, and wolves are a keystone species, and as a law major, I could help the court, the judge, understand what killing a wolf actually means to their state, and that it would be detrimental in most cases. I definitely want to make a difference in people's lives and how they view things in the world. Coming here, seeing a wolf for the first time, that's crazy and it's so different. So I'm definitely taking away that you need to research things and look more before you just make your judgment.